Hello guys, welcome back to Drawing with Juni. Today we are gonna be drawing an angry werewolf. Okay guys, now we are gonna start drawing our werewolf. And it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna be using a marker, but you could use whatever you want. You could use a pencil if you want, but then you should trace it over. So it makes it look like it's popping out of the paper. So let's start. I've been drawing before this, so that's why I've got a lot of ink on my hands. Okay. So, let's start with our werewolf's head. But in the head, let's start with his eye. Let's make a, a upside down taco shape. It's like a taco shape, but it's upside down. And the same thing on the side, but the other way. And... And this one can be a little more longer. Okay, now let's now let's draw his snout. So let's draw a line till here and a line coming down. And it can be a little curved on this point. Okay. Now let's make a triangle uh, a line connecting from here diagonal. And then color it in. Okay. Now let's draw his ears. So let's make a line like that coming. And a, wing, a zigzag line coming from there. Because we don't want it to be uh, that straight. Because wolves are not straight like cats. So let's draw some fur here. If you can try to make it furry there. And let's draw a line coming across and a line coming up and down. Now let's draw the inside of his ear like that. And we can make all those kind of shapes not connecting. It's like a triangle, but it doesn't connect together. Like one line, one line, one line. But if, but if, but it's okay if if you've already done it. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just, I'm just doing a zigzag line coming down and and we're gonna come down here and the same thing on the side but this side is going to go through there and this side is going to go up and connect it to there. So let's draw a shape like that now and some really sharp teeth. And now, from there, let's draw a line, a curve here, and then a line coming down, and more um, teeth. Okay, now let's uh, continue. Let's start drawing his arms. Let's draw a very furry line coming down here, and a very furry line coming down to here. They don't have to be the same uh, uh, stopping, but I think uh, it'll look more like it's symmetrical. So let's start making more zigzag lines coming down like that. And more zigzag lines coming down like that. It looks really weird now. It's like, it's a, it looks like a little like a half starfish, but with a wolf head. But it's not going to be arms so from here let's start making a zigzag line and and stop near this thing this uh his shoulder or elbow yeah elbow and from here let's get this line down to here okay now let's draw his big hand so let's make a line coming from here a, a zigzag line and that's going to go here and the zigzag line back and then you can do the same thing we can keep on doing the same thing yeah and then connect it into this okay now let's draw from here but just remember this shouldn't be connecting this shouldn't be connecting to his head but but it's okay if um if you do that because you can always try to do something to correct it. So I just drew a furry line coming from there. And from here, let's 
keep on doing a furry line there and let's draw a line coming down, down and get it back up for the claw one more and the last one connecting in whoa he looks awesome okay now let's draw one more furry line down and if y'all uh, see, you should not uh, fee, uh, draw it small. Like if you start and think, and it, uh, you shouldn't start with it really small. It should be big, so so it's uh, so it's easier to see, and it's and it's really cool, and it makes it look like the thing is big. Now let's draw his um, muscles here. So let's draw a L, a, a long. It's like a sideways L. Or then the other way then one more and one more and the last two okay now let's draw lines like this like, uh, like this into the L's okay now let's draw his torn pants so the person who became the werewolf uh, um, he uh, he became a werewolf, that's why he has torn pants. So we can just draw a really crooked line like that. And then we can uh, we'll draw it connecting from here to there. And one more crooked line. And now we're going to draw a cro crooked line this way. And you don't have to draw the same way because you can't do that same. So now I finished my crooked line and coming up like this. And the same crooked lines coming up there. And now from here, not from here, from here, we can come up from there crooked. And now real crooked. And we can draw a line like that. And now let's draw some tears. Uh, you don't have to draw it in the same place. But I'm just drawing it like that there. Okay. Now let's draw a line like this. And this is for his pants sticking out because it's torn. I mean not his pants, his legs sticking out because it's torn and it's not perfect. And everything's sticking out. Let's draw one more way like that. Okay. Now let's continue those lines we just drew um, uh, here. And draw a curve line uh, that way like this back now from here uh, one more time and the last time and we can we can do this come back like this and connect it into a stool okay now uh, into his leg so now let's draw the other one from this line let's go down those claws and get it back like this and connect it whoa we're almost done but here i'm gonna add a little few things werewolves don't have these things but i'm just gonna add them so let's draw a uh, two swords at the back of him like he like he's carrying two swords with him he's a really smart werewolf uh, he knows everything how to do everything let's draw a rectangle shape and it should be curved it shouldn't be like a straight thing but you could make it straight now let's draw the a rectangle here but it's going to be connected into this thing and here we can draw these uh um circle kind of lines curved lines on this shape to make it look around and let's put it let's draw two lines like that so that's like the starting of the sword which is going through but it's not like it's going through him and he's gonna die it's it's just like uh it's it's just like he's um it's like he's carrying it on his back you know some people carry those swords like that on their back let's draw the other sword so we're gonna repeat the same uh, steps that try the rectangle here and those lines inside 
the triangle and connect two lines into that. And you can make these tiny lines. I don't know if you all can see the. Um, no, you don't have to make it if. Uh, but I, I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to make it. Now inside of this thing, we can make some lines. And it's going through his back. And you can't see it because at the back of his back. At the back of his back. <laughs> okay. Now, let's draw some more things. Let's draw some uh, armor here. Let's draw two curved lines like that. And some rectangles inside of that and the same thing here okay now let's now let's draw some more weapons he's got oh wait before we draw any more weapons let's let's draw a circle like that and this is like a chain it's like he's been uh, handcuffed well, not really handcuffed, but he's been connected. So it's basically these thick circles connecting each into each other. Uh, so we're going to make it go in this kind of direction. And then keep on going. And until we get here, let's draw a tiny line like that. And a, a half rectangle as well. So it's like it's connected to something that's really um, strong, even though it's so tiny. Let's write uh, 2,000 kgs. Haha. <laughs> so it's so strong, but it's so small. Let's do the same circles here. But this time we can do it in a different way because he's trying to get out and and he's and he's uh, um, going bonkers because he really wants to get out and 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 um, get those people who um, uh, captured him and the tiny 100 piece I mean 2000 kg piece. Okay, good. Now let's draw a plat form he's standing on so let's draw a, a diagonal line like that and a diagonal line like that we're gonna draw a line coming straight like that through his legs okay now uh, let's draw you can draw some really wavy lines because he's standing on a floor like that okay maybe standing in wood yeah Okay, now let's draw some more weapons. First, let's... Mm, mm, wait, there's one more thing before the weapons. Let's draw a tiny line like that. And a tooth shape like that. And continue it. Tooth shape again. From here, uh, uh, that line, tooth shape. Line, tooth shape. And connect it. And remember, if I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video to take extra time. Extra time and and um, don't worry if your drawings uh, come, out, um, uh, come out a little weird. But I'm sure they won't. Even if they've come out with you, you should be proud of yourself because you're drawing a wolf. And wolves are not really easy to draw. Even if you're drawing a realistic one. I might once draw a realistic one. Okay, now let's continue with the weapons. So let's draw uh, two curved lines, lines inside of that, and two, uh, two of these kind of uh, things, and tiny circles and squares inside of that. And those are like these kind of guns uh, which are attached to him armor and then these guns attached to it which makes a uh, has a gun but i don't know whichever person captured him they're really crazy they should take all the weapons because he could use those weapons to get out so let's draw those two um, curve lines and those lines inside of that and let's draw those two shapes and the circles inside of it okay good now let's now let's draw 
Uh, I don't know what to draw. Uh, let's draw spikes. Let's draw some spikes on him. Wait, wait, before we do spikes, let's do some eyebrows, which make him look much more angry. Yeah, now he looks angry. Okay, one is furry and one is like straight. Let's make this straight too. Okay. Now, uh, here, let's draw a line like that. Line like that. Those are not his eyeballs. Now, let's draw some eyeballs. I don't know why. I, I, they, like scary thing, normally I don't draw eyeballs, but... For a change, let me. I think I'm gonna draw them. So let's. Let, I just do a circle, and we're gonna color it in. And except in this, the spot leave a tiny white gap, and we're gonna draw the circle again, and leave a tiny white gap in the middle for the highlight on his um, mm, eye. Okay. Now let's draw some. Fur, more fur on him. So let's draw some fur here. So these zigzag lines here. And they don't have to be the same. And more here. And some hair sticking out. Like this. Here. Two. Here. Okay. Now let's draw some more wriggly lines. More wriggly lines. Wrinkly lines, more wrinkly lines, more wrinkly lines. The wrinkles make him look more realistic. I mean, it's not looking realistic, but it's looking a little more uh, better with the wrinkles. Okay, he's looking really cool. So I think I'm done with my drawing and it turned out really well. But you know, it's going to turn out even better once I color it. So after I finish coloring, you can pause the video and we're going to do some shading after that, okay? So I'm going to start coloring and uh, and you can pause it in the video again. Uh, so I'm going to start coloring right now.
Okay guys, I finished coloring and I think it turned out pretty well. Oh, uh, so now we're gonna move on to shading. Okay, let's, let's, let's get a black. Let's take a black, not a marker. Yeah, you shouldn't use a marker for coloring in the in my in my videos. I think because because you might not have the same color, or you or you um won't um uh, be able to shade because markers are not that good at for shading. So let's uh, so let's start. You should get a color pencil right now. Okay, so let's start with this foot. So on the bottom of the foot, let's start really dark. As we go to the top, gradually we can start getting lighter and lighter. And you don't call the whole thing black, okay? So we're just gonna start black and then get as we get to the top more lighter. Yep, that's the first one. So let's do the same thing on this foot. Start dark. Then as we get to the top, more lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay. Now, the bottom part of his uh, trousers, let's, let's make a shadow. So let's start uh, with the black down, uh, down on this side. And, and as we, and, and this don't do the whole pant a uh, whole trouser black just do a little around what we just did dark really lightly and look like this which is cool now let's now let's draw a, a shadow on on the inside of his arm here let's start here and get dark and get dark here like that and as we get and as we get to the top a little lighter like that i think shading makes it really cool and i've started learning this from art for kids up you should try them out it's really cool because it makes it look more realistic and it's like it's real so let's do the same thing on this arm let's start dark as we get to the top gradually let's make it lighter like that now let's now let's now let's do this part of the arm let's start like that uh, dark the top and as we get to the top a little lighter little light but not uh, fill the whole thing okay again the side like that okay now let's do the the bottom of his head head face face so let's start dark on the starting of his face and as we get to the top more light we don't want to color the whole face let's do a little dark on the, the inside of his mouth a little but not too much don't want to color at all and let's do mm, the back of it here here okay now let's let's do a shadow here i think probably we can do a shadow here or we can start dark and as you get the top lighter it's like his face is on his uh, body now let's do a shadow uh, for these guns. So let's start dark and as you get it up lighter. Start dark, lighter. Start dark on the other side, lighter. Start dark, and lighter. Okay, good. Now let's start dark on the sword here. And a little dark, uh, uh, and start dark here and as you get it up lighter. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Now this shadow we can, uh, if uh, we can make a little more dark, I think, to make it look more cooler and like his head is falling onto his um, body. Like you can see that it, the shadow is there. 
Okay, now let's now let's draw at the bottom of these two hundred thousand kg things. Let's start dark and as you get top lighter. Dark light. And then this thing like almost the whole thing on the bottom let's do the whole thing dark on this thing. Okay. Now let's now let's get lighter to, uh, at the top. See, this thing can be quite dark because he's standing on top of it and a lot of shadow is falling onto it. So let's make it a little more darker. Very dark. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do this other side of the uh, face I noticed. So let's start dark this side and, uh, and, and now we can do the front more lighter. The bottom of his nose here. Okay. And if you color these lines with these light colors and they and they, this the black, if you've colored it with a non with a non dark color and a light color like this, go on and it and you can't really see the lines anymore. Of course you can see them, but but um you, um it gets a little like you can't see it properly like this dark. So you can trace it over, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. <coughs> okay so let's continue let's let's make some more shadows on the on the on on this part let's do it till his finger instead uh, here and, and and let's get lighter at the for his hand more lighter on the top on the top of his hand okay now let's make a dark border here on the handle thing of the sword as you get a top lighter same thing here okay same thing here but light light okay okay now let's do the bottom of his nose Start dark here and then you get a top lighter. Let's color in his uh, uh let's color in his teeth black but not with the marker without the marker because it shouldn't be like pure black, it should be a little non dark. Okay, now let's do a shadow here. Let's draw a shadow for this thing, a tiny shadow on the bottom that it's really 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 tiny shadow like this so now i'm gonna give you a close view or uh, i'm gonna show you a, a close up on this this is a head if you couldn't see it before um if it was a little dark for you so this is a head i've done the shading and i colored it and Mm, it's really cool this ward also but i think i think the pant part here was really cool and and the shadow falling onto his belly and here is the shadows here also cool and the, sh the shadow here for this guy for the 2000 kg thing and now i'm giving a close-up of the whole joint Starting from the head, and I'm gonna go all the way down. Okay, so I hope you're drawing. We're, we're done with our drawing. I turned out really well, and I'm sure you turned out even better. Um, and don't worry if you don't like your, the way you're drawing it. I'm sure it's really cool, and and you can you can practice how many uh, ever times you want to do this, and 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 it's okay if it doesn't look uh, the same as mine. Because because arts like that it shouldn't look the same as somebody's. So um, so uh, that's it for me. And and um, please subscribe to the uh, to my channel. And you can check out my other videos. Uh, see you later, guys. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.